We're going to find the empirical formula, which means the uh, lowest whole number ratio of these formulas. And um, oftentimes, they'll give you a percent uh, composition. But this, in this problem, they're giving you uh, the mass. And just got to be careful that I uh, just want to check that this adds up to 100 grams. Um, otherwise, you'll have to, we'll have we've got an extra step to do. Um, it turns out it does add up to 100 grams. So uh, what we can what we can therefore say is that this is 74.1 percent oxygen, and and this is 25.9 percent nitrogen. And and that's important that it's out of 100. Um, otherwise, we've got to make it out of 100. Um, in any case. We need to. Uh, it's already it's already in grams, so uh, we can just convert these to moles. All right. So it's already given grams to us. Oops. Um, what's the other one? Seventy-four point one grams. Oops. Sorry. Oxygen. And then uh, now we need to convert these to moles because uh, that'll give us um, the relativity between uh, the two. So these don't have to be super precise numbers um, because we're in the end we're just looking for the uh, the formula and whole numbers. So in the end we're looking for um, x and y there. So all right. Uh, anyway, uh, 14 grams of nitrogen is what's found in one mole of nitrogen. Okay, these units cancel out. All right, and for oxygen, is 16 grams in one mole. So these uh, these units cancel out, and just need to plug these in our calculator. Uh, 25.9 divided by 14. 1.85 moles, uh, and then for oxygen, 74.1 divided by 16 is uh, 4.63 moles. All right, so what we're going to do here is um, find the lower quantity, which is, in this case, 1.85, um, and see how many times that goes in all the other uh, moles. It's always going to go into itself once, right? And then the other ones, uh, we're hoping that we get a whole number. Um, otherwise, we're going to have to multiply through to get whole numbers. Um, all right, so uh, 4.63 divided by 1.85 is uh, 2.5, right? So that's not what we want. We, we didn't get whole numbers, so we'll have to multiply through by what? What do you think? Well, we can multiply through by 2 to get whole numbers, all right? So... Um, so our final answer is going to be n five. I'm sorry. Hold on. N uh, n's the top number. So n two dinitrogen uh, pentoxide. All right, so there's your. You can't reduce that. So that's our empirical formula.